Ne, tako bi bolje še tako. Če še tako, če še tako stavko, zdaj je dobro. Is it, is it? Ja, zakaj, kakaj je vjom, boj sem, tega kaj chce potegniti. Aha, of the, of the plane, of course, eh. Like this? This will be something, eh. Ah, tako, ja. Friends, salutam, welcome to Potrečiš Brothers RC channel, the channel. When we will try to test as many different planes as possible, the channel, when we don't edit nothing, we just turn on the camera and what the hell, what you see is what you get, eh. Will this be the maiden flight or the maiden crash? Well, who the hell knows until we will try it, eh. And, of course, the channel, when we will try to persuade you to click for the first time on something, don't waste your time, fly RC plane, eh. You will see, eh? Hey, Don't you waste your time, rather waste your money. Yeah, rather waste your money in the RC place. <laughs> but believe me, once you will be in the air with the plane, I mean, most of the times it will be just you and the planes and all the problems far away, except when you will crash the plane, then you will have the problem on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So this is it, hey. Enough, Captain Blush. Enough, enough. What we will try today, something that caught my eye at the moment that it was released on the market and that is the X-Fly Twin Eagle. Mm -hmm. Twin 40 mm Twin Peaks. EDF, uh, twin Peaks, eh, twin, twin 40 mm <laughs> 40 towers. Twin 40 mm EDF flying <coughs> wing jet, eh, That really reminds me of a eh, Horton from the Second World War from the German bunker. They have found one, eh, not even assembled but that one looks so sexy. Now I just hope that someday somebody will produce that one in the foam version with the retractable landing gear. Oh, I would buy it in a minute. But for now, let's have this one. Now the original German one had the EDF units here. I mean, not the EDF, <laughs> the jet engines here. Yeah. But this one does have on the tips of the wings. Now, is this good or bad? Now, I think that some crazy stunts will be able to be done with this because you also have the differential trust in this one but i don't think that i will screw too much and in fact if i look at this eh, the edf units will have to be synchronized totally mm -hmm. if you if i would be able to fly this plane good because if one will suck a little more then it won't fly in a straight line. So maybe this is a good idea or maybe it is a bad idea. Now yeah. I have seen many guys struggling with this plane to fly it. I have seen many guys flying it really good. Now it does come, what's the, the, the wingspan? Yeah. One meter. Millimeters wingspan. That 100 millimeters. 100,000 millimeters wingspan. 100,000. 100,000. <laughs> 1,000 millimeters <laughs> wingspan. <laughs> One meter wingspan that will run on four cell. And you see here what I have done, how I have placed inside here the battery to get the good CG. And how do I have my antennas and with what receiver I will fly. Now the gyro is already here. You don't have to set this plane like some Elevon, Elevon B or something. You don't set it like the flying wing because you have here already, look, the rudder, the gear, the aileron cables. All that is already mixed in this uh, board. Gear? Yeah, on the gear you have the gyro. Ah. You can have the gyro good or a less gyro for some 3D stunts. And of course. Are, and there are also some trimmers, eh? You have some trimmers to set the gains here for the gyro. But like I have said, on this flight, I think that I will just fly it with the gyro. And that's it. I, I don't have to prove nothing to anybody. I just want to enjoy this. And I don't think the flying wings, if I will <coughs> screw too much in the air, you will quickly lose the sight of how this baby is turned. And, and I don't know what. So for me, this would be a beautiful chance to fly the flying wing, not to get cut with the props on the fingers and to even more to hear the sound of the jet and yes the are you ready and that's it captain blush enough eh? of course we will ask our famous captain blush he was hand tossing in the shower last night especially for this filming huh captain yes. blush i spent countless hours <laughs> under the shower practicing practicing just for this hey yes because wait I don't want to risk nothing for the maiden flight. I will be on the sticks and prepared to salvage the plane or something if something bad will happen on the hand launch. But uh -huh, do you see this, eh? <laughs> Check this out. No, look at this, eh? You can see it now. Wait, 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 wait. Why was this? You have, look, the gyro working. I have tested this all. It works correct. Yeah. But look at this, rather. Ah. 
You see this? But wait, wait, look at this, my friends. Even the gyro is working, even on the rudders. Look. He tries to fix, and I have oh. tested it, and it works correct. I Do thought test it was. It. I, I thought it was a signal loss. Eh? <laughs> signal loss already. Of course, you have. Yeah, you have underneath the grips yeah. to hand launch it. Yeah. Where will you hand launch it? Like this. Yeah. Just throw it a little up, and that's it. I think that it will be okay, Captain Gyro Bosch. Gyro is on. Gyro is on. I will go in high rates. Yeah, don't. It will work okay when it will be in the air. Because I think this is the same thing. Listen to me, Captain Blush and my friends. Even on the T-bone jet plane, they say don't look at the surfaces when you have the plane on the table. They will level in the air. Because I was thinking, how is this? Say, why is this up? Why is that down? But if I trim something right now, I think that I will screw the gyro inside. Yeah. So this is it, Captain Blush. Yes, postpone nothing, eh? Yeah, oh, three minutes. And you have seen that I have found the CG with the ZP Compact 60C four cell battery. I couldn't find it with the smart battery because it was too not heavy enough. Oh, no wind anymore, Captain Blush. So you can hand toss it when yeah, you yeah. want. Yeah, okay, so this is it, Captain yeah. Blush, enough. Yeah. High rates and what the hell. Tell me when. Yeah, whenever you want. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Wait. This looks fast, eh? Hello, mid rates are oh, much better, eh? I can't find it, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah! Excuse me, viewers. Say eh? it was blurring. It was blurring, and, it's, and it is still blurring. Huh? No. Okay. Excuse me, viewers. I had the sun in my eye. You know what I have discovered now? Huh? That with the two minutes with the fifty percent expo. Yeah. It's working the best. Yeah. You know what I should do? Huh? I think that it needs what? Quite a little of elevator. It's fast, eh? Pretty, eh? Yeah. Oh, do you hear the sound? Yeah, it's whooshing. One minute, eh? Hey. Already? Yeah. yeah. I wonder how much it sucks. Eh? I don't think it sucks much. But the seconds, what? Yeah. Just one more fly by, huh? Now I will go for the landing. But you're going to slow it down good, eh? Yeah. Ah, really? For the landing? Yes.
Abort, abort. <laughs> Just wanted to fly without the water. This is interesting, guys. Look at this, eh? Yeah. Look, no motor, stop. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, this is interesting stuff. Oh, eh? you know what? <laughs> what? Now I have went 27. It is over. so slim plane that it's very hard to follow in this sun, eh? Because yeah. the sun is always in my eyes. Yeah, that is why I wasn't screwing too much because I don't think that you will be able to see anything in the camera. Well, okay. this is it. At least we have some feeling now about this plane, and I will tell you a few things, eh? Ah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty sexy. And it's so interesting that when you want to land, eh, the plane just wants to fly. It flies even better when it glides than with the motors. This is interesting, guys. Eh? Yeah. We will we'll yeah. check the battery. Ah, check the battery, of course. Wait. I will take it out. Just put the camera there and I will give you the battery. Ah. And again, we have proved this. Now, do you know what? What? That the orange receivers work perfect, eh? Yeah, well, I This have one is, in fact, the version 3. I have the antennas to 90 degrees and that's it. I take the battery, I can turn. Uh, 3 minutes and 30 seconds Yeah. of flying. Tell me, Captain Blaschey. What did you say? I said what? 3 minutes and 30 seconds. 63%. Ooh. You can set it to 4 minutes. I will set it to 4 minutes oh. right now. But of course, uh, bearing in mind that maybe next time I will fly this faster. Yeah, but four is enough. Yeah, don't set more than four. Work from there. Because I wasn't flying too fast today. But still, I will tell you this. I was flying this time, I don't know, maybe just with 40% of throttle. And this baby is really fast, really fast. Eh? Now what I would do, huh? I just wonder, Captain Blush, and I think that maybe it showed me the great CG. Yeah, I have the dots here, do you see? Yeah. Look at this. Look how sexy tip it is. Of the this wings. protection, eh? Yeah. This protection worked perfect. Look, I hit the grass here and here, and the baby is still like it should be. Now, what I have discovered that maybe this CG wasn't so good. Nah. The next time I will put a little back because I do believe, I mean, with the flying wings, I will tell you this, with the flying wings, you don't want to have tail heavy wing, you don't want to have too much nose heavy wing because it just won't fly good, it will be nervous. For the flying wings, it's really important that you find yourself as good CG as possible and then you will be able to fly it. Now why do I say this that maybe the CG wasn't good? Because it was touching on the elevator. Yeah. If I have removed a little elevator, it wanted to go down. When I wanted to go up, it was really touchy because I think that the nose was a little too heavy. So for the next flight, I will just put this battery, I don't know, maybe 10 millimeters more to the back. Don't put it five centimeters more. Half an inch. Yeah, half an inch or two inches or something. Work slowly because it is flyable like this, but work it slowly. And I don't know. What? I had here three rates. Yeah. And I have discovered that I, I had the best control of this plane with 100% travels, but with the 50% expo. And then it wasn't touchy anymore. Uh -huh. I mean, it's amazing, gay. Okay? Yes. Now, if you fly alone, if you don't have the camera, I can tell you that you can you can see it good, this plane. I was worried that maybe I won't see how the plane is turned or something, but these red colors and this underneath, hey, you can really see it with this. Now, once you will have the plane dialed in, now I was flying this just in the, in the full gyro or something, but you still have, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I don't know, this is not like... I mean, I, I wonder if this works like safe select. I will use that word, the safe select, with which you are really, you are um, limited how much you can go with the plane. Uh -huh. But with this, I was feeling that maybe, I don't know, this is just more like some really good AS3 exorcist and a little less if you will do some stunts or something. But dial your bird first, really good. And when, then, when you will see and you will have the feeling 
that you can really control it good, then do some stunts. I think that the most beautiful stunts with this will be if you will just spin this with a rudder. Yeah. Because if you will put full throttle on one rudder, eh, this will spin like a spinner. Eh? Yeah, if round, you have round, spinning the, me round, go If you have the French and thrust, then. Yeah, but it does have. I must. It, it does have the rudders. Yeah, Captain Blush. Oh, yeah. It does have the differential thrust already. You have seen. Net thrust, the thrust. Thrust. The thrust. Thrust. Hey. Nefer. Nefer and th. Th. Thrust. Thrust. Hey. Yes. Uh, thanks, Captain Blush. Good thing that we have you here on this channel. So you you fix my English language. Hey. Yes, yes. But really, Captain Blush, hey, you are the best brother in the world. Hey. Yeah, and so you what are. to tell about this? Hey. The assessment from 0 to 10 after the first flight. Oh, I can give this 9 and 25. Yeah. I will take that 0, 25 points away just because at this point I don't know if it was maybe touchy because of my not so good CG. So I will give, I will take also me that 0 0.25 because <laughs> I, I think that it's really hard to get the CG. You have the marks here on the flying wings. Yow. Sometimes you hold it, it's perfect, then you just little do this, it's not perfect, and you really, you don't know exactly, but you have seen where I have put it, my battery, work well, from there, and that's I'm it. I'm struggling eh? with my delta wing on that green yeah. one, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, well, no, the day before yesterday, the CG was perfect, I tried yesterday, and it was off, eh? I don't know what's I mean, happening. This is eh? interesting, it's not hard to find the CG on some big birds, on some high wing planes, you have the dots underneath, if you just put your fingers there on the big part, you can exactly see if that is labeled or not labeled. But on this kind of plane, I don't know, hey, sometimes if I hold the fingers like this, it's okay. Then it's not okay if I grab my fingers and do like this. Again, it's okay, so I. Hey. But it was good enough, hey. It was good enough for the maiden flight. And that's it, hey. You will have the link below. If you would love to have one sexy sounding, but even the sound was good, huh? Yeah. For 40 millimeters. And the friends, swooshing say, was also sexy. And the swooshing, say, the swooshing were a eh, like on the some big badass gliders, really, eh? I just hope that you will hear on the camera. And that's the point, eh? It's not the point for me to fly this. I didn't buy this, so I will fly this so far away that I won't even able to see this. But you have seen now the best point that you take the motors fly by yourself with the full speed sexy sound and then just go up with this bird throttle cut and then just glide eh? and you will save the juice and I think that if you will go up and then glide with this baby eh, you will fly much more than just four minutes five maybe six minutes even more if you have a little wind so you can go a little in the wind I mean flying wings are so sexy and this one eh, this one is amazing and I can't wait to fly it again eh? Yes. You will have the link below, so maybe this is an option for you, who knows, say, as long as you will click on something before your time is expired. Because yes. everything on Earth has expiration date, even the humans, so don't wait too long, eh? Yes. Tomorrow might be too late. You Maybe you have today the chance, hey, should I buy that flying wing or not? And you're wondering and you say yourself, well, maybe oh, I will buy this tomorrow, and tomorrow you will wake up that, and who will order them the plane? Who yes, will order the plane? Yes, yes. <laughs> I hope. Of course, I wish you all to be in the best health. I wish you all to have many, many happy flights, many happy landings. Just you and the plane, you and the friends, because this, at the end, is the best hobby in the world. And I hope Captain Blush and my friends, and, and we film this just because of you. It's interesting. I don't see you. But right now, when I'm talking to the camera, it's just me and Captain Blush here and that tractor spreading manure artificial there, eh? Yeah. But I can feel you all around the world, eh? And I'm so happy when I post the video and see that you come to watch us. You make the comments. What, Captain Blush? The phone again. The phone? Yeah, three times now. <laughs> Okay, I will close the video, the phones are ringing, okay? we are really wanted men here in, in Slovenia, so hey, of course you're all welcome to visit us, if you will come to Slovenia, just come by and we will have some fun, at least we will have a coffee, and that's it. Eh? Pilot Robert and Captain Blast signing off with the maiden flight with the beautiful and sexy Twin Eagle, 40mm twin 12 blades, 4 cell flying wing, 
sexy little fast devil, a really good flying wing. And I can just imagine right now, we'll just tell you this and then we'll close the video. I can really imagine this in the future, Captain Blush, that I will paint this baby in some Warbird scheme, eh? Uh -huh. Can you imagine this, eh? Yes. And I will paint it in a German, German Warbird scheme, eh? Yes. And I will pretend that uh, until somebody will put the Horton on the market, I will call this my little sexy Horton, eh? Yes. <laughs> we love you all, expect more pretty soon the captain has cut and let's answer to those phones and I don't think that I will fly anything else today. I will save that plane for the mountains or something. Enough Captain Blush, eh? because I need the coffee and I need to go home and Captain Blush, we know what we must check. Eh? Yes. Four wheel drive. Eh? So this is it. Yes. We love you all, expect more pretty soon. Thanks. Eh?